So, what a turnout we had for this celebration of a Sumo dynasty, whose structure I can simply explain. Retiring was ex Sekiwake Aminishiki, real name Ryuji Suginomori, grandson of a man who wrestled for Dewa Nomi Stable. His father, Kiyokatsu Suginomori, was chairman of the local sumo club and is now a leading figure in Aomori Sumo. <laughs> His older brother, Kiyotoshi Suginomori, turned pro three years before him and also reached Division 1. He composed this tribute song and delivered it well, and a full translation will come to the channel soon. His father's cousin, Seiya Suginomori, made Yokozuna in 1990, then coached him throughout his pro career. And now Aminishiki's son, four-year-old Jotaro Suginomori, has taken his first steps on the Kokugikan Dohyo. The first of how many? <laughs> but let's also recall that the sport's current Yokozuna, Teruno Fuji, changed his name to Suginomori when naturalizing as a Japanese underlining just how much he owes that family. He couldn't keep his promise of a 63-bout winning streak in the run-up to this, but, in addition to taking the May Trophy, did everything else he could. Belt-tying demonstration. <laughs> Ring entering ceremony. <laughs> Goningake, featured in the link above, performed for the first time since the 2017 rendition by their colleague Haruma Fuji, who was sadly not present. And finally, sending fans home with bodacious winning move. A handshake of many thank yous, Aminishki later said. <laughs> Around 350 prominent backers were invited to snip hair, notably... <laughs>
And the final cut was delivered, of course, by his father's cousin, who he simply views as uncle. In his own speech at the end, did Aminishki offer this key line? For without ardent love for what he did, he would never have fought until almost 41. And he still can't believe he was paid for it. The rest of the schedule featured comic sumo with this minor innovation. Then Division 2 bouts bringing both the unplanned And the well planned. The welcome speech came from his hometown's mayor, while the family segment saw his younger daughter, to widespread mirth, express thanks for his gentle ear cleaning methods. <laughs> The breakdown of different taiko drumming styles is a staple. There was one final surprise to close. A lucky draw whose winner would receive a phone call there and then from Aminishki himself. On an office phone, it was loudly stressed. And as if to underscore his backer's wealth, this lucky woman from his native Aomori went home with a diamond necklace. Aminishki's contribution to Terunofuji's book contained a vow to open his own Ajigawa stable this summer. No announcement of that here, but it's clear Team Suginomori has the funds. Aminishki's <laughs> 